This is the Financial News Network. I'm Francesca Tioleco. Francesca Francesca Tioleco. 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 Francesca Tioleco. President Barack Obama announced nearly a decade after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States that Osama bin Laden was killed in a U.S. operation in Pakistan. Prince William and Catherine Kate Middleton tied the knot today in London at Westminster Abbey. New York real estate mogul Donald Trump will not be running for president in 2012. Sony Corp chairman Howard Stringer apologized and offered U.S. customers a year of free identity theft protection. Dominique Strauss-Kahn was taken into custody after being accused of sexual assault in New York City last Saturday, though some speculate a smartphone may be in the works. Netflix entered a multi-year agreement under which its subscribers can access movies from the Miramax Film Library. The next model of Apple's iPhone will be an updated version of the iPhone 4, rather than a major revision of the smartphone. According to an AT&T vice president, Apple will release its iPhone 5 in October. Obama said, The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. The device should be called iPhone 4S and include minor cosmetic changes. But today is May 13, 2011, and this is your closing bell market wrap-up. Apple surpassed ExxonMobil as the most valuable company in the U.S. Sony was singled out in a statement by Anonymous after the company sued George Holtz. The S&P 500 closed at 0.82%, lower at 1,337, and the Nasdaq Composite closed 1.2%, lower at 2,828. Revenues for the quarter were down about 0.5% year over year to $3.57 billion. For more updates, stay tuned to Smart Trend News. I'm Francesca. 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 Franc